Hi, welcome to the fourth installment on how to make Vampire Count's terrain. Um, yesterday I was telling you I was having a little trouble figuring out how I wanted to do my cemetery walls. Um, I made a drawing, and uh, you know, it's kind of cool. It's got the, the, the big dragon spike thing going on with the walls. It's got some nice, you know, cornerstones going on. But remember, we're going with the theme of war. So, this wasn't enough. So, I came up with the three things that you should think about in gaming when you have a hard time uh, solving your problems. That's bigger, badder, and better. Bigger meaning don't just settle for something like a shortened wall or something. Make it a little more macho. Um, better. Do something innovative. Don't do something that you've seen done a dozen times before. Make it your own. And batter. Well, batter is just plain batter. Add the spikes. Add the blades. Uh, blood splatters. Body parts. All that stuff. Um, stuff that makes your, your players go wow. So, what I did is I added one little word in between cemetery and wall, and it completely changed the feel of the piece. How about cemetery fortress wall? And that's what I did. This isn't a wall that your, your troops are going to walk up and, and just uh, lift the leg and, and walk over and come walking into your backyard and get into a sword fight. Oh no, they better bring their ladders and their grappling hooks. And when they get to the top, chances are there's going to be something with bones that's waiting up there with a big rusty sword for their head. So that's what I wanted to get across, and that's what I went with. Um, I wanted to keep with the dragon theme, so I used the dragon emblem. I wanted to keep, uh, you know, keep the spikiness going on, so I've got that. And I even did it with the back supports where the troops go on. So they're, you know, even if it's, you know, heavy lead or relidium troops, they're not going to, you know, flip it over. Um, I added a couple more uh, troops for scale. Um, these are from the Tomb King's army, but um, they'll function as uh, any of the mounted vampire uh, troops that are there. Um, it's starting to flesh out the way I want it to. It's got a nice warlike theme going on with the uh, the battlement topped uh, mausoleum. Um, this is going to flesh out nicely, I think. My my further plans are to make more walls, make a couple of small towers, not as big as this, obviously, but you know that'll support that and give it a couple uh, angle possibilities to go on. So. Um, it's starting to shape up, it's starting to look like uh, how a battle table should, in my opinion. And thank you so much. Um, and hopefully we'll have more for you tomorrow. Bye.